jump or you fall off of something. How fast do you fall? And why that speed? Well, it's all based on your air resistance and eventually your terminal velocity. When something falls, they can fall at different speeds based on many different factors, such as their mass, their, the amount of drag they have, or their aerodynamics. And all these things dictate what, the, what that thing's terminal velocity is. Take the average human being. The average human has a terminal velocity of around 195 kilometers per hour, and that's around 56 meters per second in the free fall position. So, Let's take a closer look at that. If the mannequin were to be falling in a vacuum, it would be falling at 9.8 meters per second per second, meaning that it would continuously get faster and faster and faster until it reaches its ultimate impact. Since we do live in a world with air resistance and wind, there is something stopping the mannequin from going faster and faster and faster at 9.8 meters per second, and that's what? Terminal velocity and drag. As the mannequin falls, it will end up collecting more and more drag and air resistance, and it will eventually get to a point where it no longer gets any faster and it stays at one constant speed, and that's when it's reached its terminal velocity. Now let's look at an elephant. An elephant, for example, would have a greater mass than the average human, meaning that it would have a higher terminal velocity based on that. But an elephant has a greater surface area, meaning that it has more space to pick up drag, which will slow it down and slow down its terminal velocity ultimately. Now, how is it that skydivers are able to survive their around 4,000 meter fall? Well, I guess you could say it's their parachute, but how does that work exactly? Well, like the elephant, the parachute makes the human surface area way larger, meaning that it has more space to pick up drag and ultimately slow down its terminal velocity. If you were to drop a pointy rod or a pencil in this example, it'll be more aerodynamic than something with a larger surface area because this can just cut through the air and it will make it easier for it to fall faster. Like so. This is why they test cars in wind tunnels. It's to check that the car is maximizing its speed and it isn't wasting anything with the shape of it by catching too much air. This is also the reason that the elephant does not follow such a higher terminal velocity than the average human. It's because its aerodynamics are usually not very good unless the elephant is pointing in the position of a kinetic rod or something. Well. Now that we found out what terminal velocity truly is, we now know what it's like to be a skydiver or even an elephant falling from a great height. So next time that you're in the free fall position and falling from a very great high height, possibly to your death or possibly to the great abyss below you, just remember this video and you'll know that you're not actually going that fast.